Hi guys, welcome back to another Bunch of Fives video. As I slagged no effects off something rotten in the last one, I decided to do a positive video about them. Because they are in my top 10, 5, maybe even top 3 bands of all time. Plus they're splitting up this year so it seemed like a good time to appreciate everything they've done. If you could like and subscribe to the channel if you love slideshows and opinions about various types of music it would make my day. Anyway, that's enough of an intro, let's get down to the reason why we're all here. An honourable mention goes to The Decline. The Decline is in its own category as being the best no effects song, but it felt like a bit of a cheat to put an 18 minute punk rock symphony amongst the rest of the tunes. It's a work of art lyrically and musically no second is wasted. It could be the most ambitious punk song out there with all its sections that blend seamlessly into each other. The build into the final verse. And so we go on with our lives. We know the truth, but prefer lies is one of the best moments in punk rock history. It's goosebump inducing. These are in no order by the way, as it was hard enough boiling it down to a top five. I could have easily picked a top 50. It's my job to keep on it's My Job to Keep Punk Rock Elite was the first punk song I ever heard when I was 11 years old and it was one of those this song changed my life moments. I've never heard drums like it, guitars like it or a vocal snarl like it. It was a huge hit of musical dopamine that has always stayed with me and it opened Pandora's box to discover a new musical world I didn't know existed. My love for Nirvana, The Ramones, Smashing Pumpkins, Rancid, Dropkick Murphys, Less Than Jake and thousands of others was kickstarted by this 80 second concophony of punk rock glory. The In Your Face an apologetic attitude that's always made this song sound so fresh 24 years after my first listen made it a must for my top five. The lyrics about keeping punk rock authentic and true are arrogant, but it's an appealing arrogance rather than the arrogance we got on 60%. At this point in their career, I put complete faith in no effects to be the leaders of this movement. I have no problem with bands selling out if the music is still good, but I think because no effects never went mainstream, it's my job to keep punk rock elite still means so much to so many people. Okay, so maybe this is a bit of a basic pick, but there's a reason why the most popular songs are the most popular songs. I'm not going to be a hipster for the sake of it. Why would I put Bob Turkey, Mr. Jones and Insulted by Germans in my top five to look cool? Dinosaurs Will Die is another dig at the mainstream music industry and a celebration of boring, burnt out rock bands having their day. No Effects' brand of punk was my year zero in the way the older generation talk about hearing the clash for the first time. And this song in particular felt like it could change the landscape of music. When I first heard Pump Up The Volume in 2000, this brand of punk was new to me and exciting and had the ability to wipe out the dated old music prior to this. The lyrics were backed up by El Jefe showing off during his solo as to why he is one of punk's greatest guitarists. It's an unapologetic raucous blast of early noughties punk that has to go down as a classic of the genre. So I've gone for a less basic pick from the same album as Dinosaurs Will Die, the song Total Bummer. I'm surprised it's not played live or talked about as being one of their best. We know Fat Mike has range as the lyricist, being able to sing articulate and intelligent political songs with a unique perspective, spoiler alert, to toilet humour songs Blink-182 could only dream of composing. Rarely does he get recognised for singing about emotions, and I think Total Bummer is one of the best songs out there about depression, particularly from a male perspective. I can live with its emo nature due to the fast and tight as anything hardcore approach. Musically, it's tight as anything in the typical no effects fashion. The bass intro shines, Mike's vocals are high and screechy in a good way. This is one of his best vocal deliveries. El Jefe's guitar soloing is all over it again and the use of minor chords adds another colour no effects don't always opt for. No effects go under the radar for writing songs like this because they don't take themselves too seriously. This is a song I would play to someone who has already written them off as a joke band. The early 80s are considered to have produced the best politically driven punk, but 2003 no effects on their crusade against the Bush regime certainly rivals this era. Here is another example of no effects musically and lyrically at the peak of their powers. This is more like a well thought out TED talk of personal frustration towards a system, with references towards Darwin's survival of the fittest failing, a planet of the apes analogy, and a potential voting reform with a sensible solution to the broken democratic system. Along with so many political songs on the war on errorism, 
Britain. It's a well thought out, clever song that still holds relevance, despite it being four presidents old. If the lyrics aren't for you, and you prefer the silly no effects, you can at least get behind the bass's intricate intro and well structured chord changes, as well as staple no effectsisms such as par mute effects, the male yell, and the scar breakdown. If that really doesn't do it for you, just wait for She's Nubs to come on. Sorry hipsters, I've gone basic again. Linoleum would be track one on a compilation you make, not only to introduce your friend to no effects, but as an introduction to 90s melodic skate punk. I appreciate that Linoleum is the most basic of basic no effects picks, but I couldn't leave this masterpiece out because it's the song that unites the crowd the most when you see them live. Even if they are having a bad night, Linoleum is always fun. It's a universal no effects song everyone gets behind. You see a stranger in the pit, you wrap your arm around them and both sing every word as though you are living through the pain of the lyrics as goosebumps run down your arms. In those two minutes of linoleum joy you've just made a best friend and this is what no effects gigs are all about. It's the most sing-alongable no effects song going. It's structured in a way where the lone guitar gives everybody enough time to get excited that it's linoleum being played then the slow drum build confirms it and the drop is just sublime. If I could watch no effects live under some weird stipulation in my head that they're only going to play one song and I get to pick that song I would definitely choose linoleum. It just sums no effects up perfectly. And that wraps up my top 5 no effects songs. Were they too basic? Were they not basic enough? Which obvious song was missing? What about a hidden gem that deserves a lot more love? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Maybe I'll do a top 5 no effects songs that don't appear on studio albums in the future. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more content like this, check out the previous videos and I'll see you in the next one.